The Department of Public Health and Social Services completed their health inspection of Simon Sanchez High School yesterday, and now they're in the process of preparing a report. Here are the findings. It took a week to complete a full inspection, but there's a happy ending. Simon Sanchez High School will remain open. The Department of Public Health and Social Services team wrapped up their inspection of the GIGO campus yesterday, and according to them, the Guam Department of Education did a great job in fixing up their school in just a week. The highest number of demerits that we did receive, uh, that we counted, was at 72. And we've been working closely with the school for them to correct on the spot. And um, uh, tentatively, the demerit scores are at 22. So they did an excellent job in trying to get those demerits down. You told me that the peak was at 72. Why wasn't Sanchez shut down? Um, we want, um, our approach was to exhaust every possible um, uh, facet to help the school stay open and remedy all of these um, violations and allow them to correct on the spot. We didn't want to take away the the students um, right to an education, but we also wanted them to be safe. Environmental Public Health Officer Claire Barati tells us some of the issues they encountered at the campus. One of the most disturbing, the rodent problem. We did find evidence of rodent um, uh, rodents being present or have been present, but I do know that the school has up their, um, their uh, they have talked with their contracted rodent um, uh, pest management contractor, and so they've taken care of that. In fact, I believe that they have caught some. So the school is in a better situation than it was when we investigated, when we started our initial investigation. The major issue were um, issues with the walls and the ceilings. That's typical. It's usually the highest um, violation with the most marks uh, and observances. Uh, it's also the, one of the most difficult to remedy. Uh, there are also issues with um, almost every facet of, um, of the inspection, um, but um, there were a lot that were could be quickly remedied. Barati says although some issues were easily fixable, others were not. There are other issues such as structural, so there are issues with some awnings being degraded and that need to be replaced. Um, there may be leaking in the ceiling, and those items are not something that the school can manage. Barati says although unfortunate, the situation at Sanchez came at the right time. DPHSS teamed up with DOE for a pilot program that allows schools to help with monitoring, reporting, and resolving health and safety issues at their respective campuses. The six schools that are part of the pilot program are George Washington High School, Aguila Johnston Middle School, MU Lujan Elementary School, Simon Sanchez High School, Jose Rios Middle School, and CL Titano Elementary School. I'm excited about the pilot program. I believe that this, uh, although in, in unfortunate events, uh, this will help launch the pilot program and the schools, the community will be more involved in trying to get the schools at where they should be. Um, I'm not, you know, it's it's never a pleasing thing to hear that a school is in this kind of situation, but sometimes it's needed to be able to jumpstart and get these things going. So it's kind of like giving them, uh, yeah, empowering them to be able to do their own assessments, uh, kind of being proactive instead of reactive. As for the status of the request for proposal for the school capital improvements, Department of Public Works De Deputy Director Felix Beneventi says November 6 is when bids are due from the vendors.